Greetings, programs. I'm Young Napoleon, and I want to welcome you to episode 10 of my inaugural Let's Play series, Redux Part 3. We're doing another Texas run through Victoria 2 with no mods and all of the DLC. In the last episode, we acquired Durango, which is giving us some more coal. It's giving us some more some more moo moo cows or some herikus. Um, it's giving us some grain, which is good for meeting uh, some basic needs, I think. It's giving us more precious metals and more precious metals. So we are raking in the dough now at 36.1 pounds a day. And we have a, a reserve of 45. This is good. This means we can start like spending our own money on railroads and... Uh, factories and that sort of stuff. So I think the first thing we're going to do today is go in and start uh, building all the railroads, at least in Texas, at least in my core. And um, yeah, so last episodes we got last episode we got some more land. We're looking forward to 1859. I don't think we're going to get the USA to be able to help us. We do. The plan is to take Colima so we can get this iron. And I always sound like I'm asking a question when I say that because I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, despite the fact I live in Texas, I do not speak a lick of Spanish. So, uh, so yeah, we're we're looking to pick up Colima in the next war, and maybe even liberate California just to throw off the USA. We'll see what happens there. And uh, so yeah, we're going to build railroads. I did learn a little bit about cultural assimilation between episodes, and the only thing I can do there is to increase literacy. Uh, and Oh, there was another small factor. I think it was just like lowering militancy. So, so yeah, we'll shoot. Right now we're working on clergymen. We're at 2% in, uh, where is this, in Durango. So, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and jump from Durango now to Chihuahua. Just to get some clergymen going there. And pause. Chihuahua. Is Chihuahua at 2% already? Huh. Okay. Well, maybe I don't need to do that. Let's go look at this. Um, does this give me any sort of a percentage indicator? Uh, okay. Here we go. Workforce. So yeah, Durango has got 2.2. Chihuahua has 2.2, and Texas has 3.7. Okay, so we're good there. Then I guess, uh, clerg not clergymen, bureaucrats are what I want. Bureaucrats increase administrative efficiency, I believe. Uh, we've got 555 in Texas. Durango has 373. Wow. Bureaucrats are at 0.4. All right, so we'll we'll encourage some bureaucrats now. I think bureaucrats are good, right? Yeah. There we go. Okay. We're working on the military so that we can start fighting our own wars. We've got the military spending all the way up to encourage soldiers, but we're still only sitting at uh, not a very big number of soldiers, 6,000. We can support 20 ships. As long as the USA doesn't sphere Mexico, we're golden. And so far, oh wow. Oof. Yeah, they're cranking that up. That's unfortunate. We do not want them being too friendly because then they won't. If they sphere Mexico, I don't think they'll, they'll join us in a war. So I'm hoping Maybe if this if this part of Mexico breaks free and California gets liberated, then maybe they um, it'll spread their their diplomatic resources out and they won't be able to sphere Mexico quite so quickly. That's the hope. Really. Oh, I'm on sitting on one speed. Let's crank that up to at least normal, if not faster. 
So, yeah, uh, railroads. I think I was going to start making all the railroads, right? Projects. Factories. How do I build railroads? Expand. Railroads. Is that just building it in Dallas? Do I have to click on all of these others? I do. I think if I hold down control in all provinces and state. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. All right, so that'll that'll eat into my money for a little bit, but it'll be worth it because we're going to start building some railroads. Upper house rearranged. Army attrition minus five. Very good. Working on military plans. 1859 is fast approaching. But now I'm wondering if it's wise to take more land from Mexico just because of this... Um, Mexican liberation stuff that was pause it we got our tech iron muzzleloaded artillery start research unless there's more no 1860 is when I can can go for empiricism we're still sitting at 14 so that's cool um, unpause uh, let's see, where's the production projects, production factories? Why not? Why is there no railroads to click on? That'll be finished in 1858, so that's cool. Oh, hey, you can see, oh, that's the RGO owner presence. Administrative efficiency is at 100% everywhere. Oh, they're not. Okay. That's fine. Another newspaper. 29 newspapers. We're getting behind on the times. Get it? Because... Oh, no. It's the New York Daily Post. Never mind. That joke did not fall through. <clears throat> All right. They're still <laughs> doing their thing. Oh, no. That's, Mex that's the Mexican army. Okay. Okay. That's unfortunate. But it's to be expected, I guess. Ludicrous speed. Oh, as soon as I do that. Okay, that's just a major discovery. Cool, cool. Still only support one brigade. 61. That's sad. Because, yeah, that's sad. That's all right. Uh, however, <clears throat> the my infamy is really close to hitting that 14% or that 14 number. My suppression points. I've got a good amount of suppression points. Do I have any sort of movements going? I do. The Liberation is back. But it's a smaller number, so that's good. We really want that. Oh, we're paused. We really want that. Let's make sure we're still okay on the clergymen. See, the clergymen are starting to drop back down again. We don't want to get too low there. Because we want this this number to go up. Because that affects the cultural assimilation. Okay. Elections have started. Okay. Mobilization impact. Okay. Uh, we're in 1858. Okay. Election being held, rebel factions. Ah, uh, let's see. The radical party wants full citizenship. Everybody else wants residency. Let's see. I've got fewer limited citizenship people, so we'll go with that. 
We have finished the research of iron muzzle loaded artillery. Okay, great. Details. Oh, hey, cool. The details takes me straight to it. Cool. Uh, army. Where were we? Muzzle loaded rifles. Start that. Unpause. Okay. Uh, let's see. Love and war. We want to keep with the Nationalist Party right now, so jingoism. Pacifists gain. Anti-military gain. So my smallest is naturally the jingos. Um, the jingoism. Jingoismists. Uh, but next smallest would be the pacifists. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let them get a little spicy. Mobilization size. Oh, nice. We will decrease all that. Uh, heated debate. The Nationalist Party want everybody wants protectionism except for the Democratic Party. So, 20%, 10. And there's a 50-50. Free trade, free trade. Okay. This makes our free trade people more militant. This makes them a little bit less militant. But... Yeesh. We'll see what happens. Wanted. Let's see, a uh, statewide manhunt has been called. Has been called. Convicted murderer has escaped local prison, local prison facility. <clears throat> Excuse me. Liberals argue that the escape merely serves as further indictment of the dilapidated and tragic state of our nation's prison system. Search high, the rich strata will gain militancy. Search low, the poor strata. I probably got a lot more poor than I do high. So let's let the high strata gain some militancy. Mobilization. Let's see. The Nationalist Party is now the new ruling party. Good. So we've still got... Let's go ahead. Everything's just peachy up here. 100%. Crime fighting's going well. I heard some construction noises. Oh, look at this. We're getting railroads. Nice. Prophylaxis against malaria. Okay. Getting all the railroads, y'all. Okay. Do I want to build forts everywhere? Probably not. Can, like, if an enemy army sieges down a territory... Does that, and I then attack an enemy army in that siege territory, does that mean they gain the siege bonus? We're going with strategic mil uh, mobility, keeping our, well, they gain cap, or do I want to go with breech loaded rifles? I think we're going to go with some, with some of this third tier stuff, I think. Oh, crap. We're in 1859. Uh, we haven't got the... Let's see. Oh, dead gum. There they go. In sphere. All right. So if I go to war with Mexico... Protected by the USA. Well, so much for my dreams of taking... Colima. Dead gum. I just... I completely let that go right by. And I'm slipping down in my secondary power. All right, so I guess that means I've got to turn my attention, turn my attention elsewhere. And to do that, I'm going to need a military. Uh, I can't sphere anybody because I'm not a second. I'm not a. I'm not a great power. So where am I going to get my iron from? I need some iron. Do we have? Let's switch over to. I can't. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Nothing over here. These are supposed to be some good areas to pick off of the European powers, but there's no iron here. Yeah, so I really don't know what my next step is. Do we got any iron anywhere in the CSA? What's that? Timber. No thanks. Got a whole lot more sulfur. 
I don't know, should I just go ahead and build an ammunition plant anyways? We've got a lot of unemployed craftsmen. So that um, I can at least... I mean, I'd be importing raw materials versus... I don't know. That's the question. That's the question. Let's see what happens, right? This is our learning experience. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Where, where, where do we have the most? In Durango? This is handy. I can see where all my unemployed craftsmen are. Uh, yeah, Durango. So let's go ahead and build a factory, ammunition factory in Durango. Collection, projects, factories. Okay. Durango, build. That's, well, this, yeah, I don't care about that. Let's go ahead and build an ammunition factory. Uh, projects, 9.5k, we'll go ahead and invest. X, ah, all these pop-ups, I'm going too fast. Trouble is brewing, it seems the Russian Empire has decided to back Greece. Oh, there's a crisis, interesting. Seems that the Netherlands has decided to back the Ottoman Empire. International crisis. Ottoman Aegean islands. Oh, this is over in, in Greece, in the Aegean Sea. Uh, okay, we'll go ahead and invest there. Uh, let's crank the speed down a little bit. Do we need more? We do. Invest. Okay. Invest. X. Invest. Oh my gosh. What in the world? Oh, that was K, the Ks. Okay, so this is less than what I... All right, invest. There we go. Factories. Ammunition factory. What is this now? Oh, that's, that's the building. Okay. So let's see. Are we up to... We are. Okay, so... Uh, Austria has decided to join the current crisis on the side of the Netherlands. How is this shaping up? Crisis. Uh, Russian Empire versus the Netherlands. France, UK, and Austria is on the other side. Still on the fence is Belgium. Are Belgium and the North German Federation. Oh, wow, they formed... Prussia has formed the North German Federation already in 1860. Goodness. Russian wants to acquire Ottoman Aegean Islands. And the Netherlands want to humiliate the Russian Empire. Cool. Um... 212 days if the diplomatic solution is not found. The U.S. is not. I thought the U.S. is a great power. Why do they not have to, to vote? We've got eight great powers. One. Is the, the Netherlands are a great power, right? Yeah. Netherlands, Belgium, Austria, the Russian Empire, North Germans... The USA, France, and the UK. War justification. Oh, Brazil is justifying war against Argentina. Uh, okay, so we've got 2% bureaucrats in, where is this, Durango? Let's look at the population. I want to look at my actual population, please. There we go. Uh, bureaucrats, 3%, 2%, 2%. Okay, we're doing good on bureaucrats. I think two, I think for some reason 2%, and I don't know why, if anybody else does, but uh, I think 2% is like a magic number for bureaucrats and clergymen. Uh, so yeah, now we're going to come over, and I think I want some clerks in Durango to help out with that factory. Not in entirely sure I know what clerks do. I think they help with efficiency and, and output and all that jazz. So yeah, we're going to encourage some clerks in Durango, because we've got zero right now. And go back to population mode, or political mode. Uh, yeah, since we're going in Durango, since we're building in Durango, I think we're also going to build railroads there. 
because we can. And we might as well, since we've got the money, let's go ahead and build all the railroads in Chihuahua. Okay, I think I think we're gonna go ahead and stop it there for now, guys. We've got the factory is in the process of being built. Oh, looks like Texas wants to build a fertilizer factory. Oh, they're building it. Oh, crud, did I accidentally, like, I bet you I did. I bet you I'll have to go back and watch the video. I bet you I accidentally, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what does fertilizer require? Fertilizer factory, it's just... Oh wait, that's sulfur. Wait, what? Oh, fact, sulfur is the, is the input. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We've got fertilizer there, or I mean, we've got sulfur in Texas, so the fertilizer will be fine. Uh, we've got the railroads, which is evidently giving me plus 16. Oh, factory throughput, nice, okay. We don't have very many craftsmen in Texas, though. This is the problem here. We do have some clerks, but... So, yeah, uh, that's what we're going to call it for today. We've been going on for over the time period, the 20-minute timer. So we're going to call it there. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. If you did, please be sure to do all that YouTube stuff. If you haven't already, as usual, I would take it as a kindness. And always remember, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. I do hope we all learned something today, and I'll see you next time.